Gran Turismo 7's February 2023 update includes the public debut of GT Sophie, a new artificial intelligence that you can race against in a free race together special event. I had the chance to preview the new Sophie races at PlayStation's North American headquarters last week, and it was the most fun I've ever had racing against a computer. Sophie is brilliant, and it can change the way racing games like Gran Turismo are designed and developed from now on. But you don't have to take my word for it. You can try it for yourself in Gran Turismo 7 on the PlayStation 5. Let's talk about how the special event works and why this new technology is such a big deal. Sophie is available through the end of March 2023. It includes races spanning four different tracks, Sakuba, Alsace Village, Trial Mountain, and Suzuka. Each track has four races available with beginner, intermediate, and expert difficulty levels, along with a one versus one mode. During my hands-on demo, I had the chance to speak with Dr. Michael Spranger, COO of Sony AI, and Dr. Peter Werman, the director of Sony AI America and the project leader of Gran Turismo Sophie. They explained to me exactly how the various difficulty levels were implemented to keep Sophie fun yet challenging for everyone who tries this special event. In the first three races at each track, you compete against four Sophie opponents, each represented by different colors. The Sophie drivers all have the same skill level, but they are hindered by the type of car they are driving. The green car will always be the slowest opponent in your race, and the violet or purple car will be the fastest. The difficulty of each race is determined by the car you are driving, so in the easier modes you're given a faster car than the Sophie drivers, and in the expert mode you're on a more level playing field. In all the races, as the human driver, you will be starting in fourth, with the slightly slower green Sophie Verit car ahead of you and the Sophie fastest violet car behind you. As explained to me by the Sony AI team, this was designed so that as the races begin, you'll typically be attacking the car in front while defending your position at the same time. One thing which I haven't spoken about yet, but I'm sure you've noticed, is the emoticon reactions coming from the Sophie drivers. The feature needs a bit more polish in my opinion, as the facial expressions don't always make sense and they update too frequently. But I think these will attract a lot of attention and they help give these AI drivers more of a persona. The most difficult challenge at each track comes in the one versus one mode, which pits you head to head against a single Sophie opponent in the exact same car. Your goal is to win this two lap race from a side by side standing start. It can be done, but believe me, it's not easy. Here is gameplay footage of Gran Turismo World Champion Igor Fraga battling wheel to wheel with Sophie, and as you can see, it goes toe to toe with one of the best Gran Turismo players of all time. I'm not bad at Gran Turismo, but I'm certainly not Igor Fraga or a GT World Tour driver, and I assumed that Sophie would completely embarrass me during my demo. It was a very humbling experience, but I was eventually able to defeat it in the one versus one race at Sakuba. I was not able to record the race during my demo, but I can tell you it was one of the most thrilling challenges I've had in 25 years of playing Gran Turismo. Sophie is incredibly quick, so the key to defeating it is to beat it to the first corner and get that position early. It is an aggressive but also very clean driver. In over half an hour of intense gameplay, I don't recall any incidents or contact that was initiated by Sophie. All of the mistakes were my own. When I'm under attack from a car behind me, I tend to get nervous and brake earlier than normal, and earlier than my opponent might expect. This leads me to frequently getting punted in braking zones or making my opponent think I've brake checked them, which isn't really fun for anybody. Sophie, however, was able to anticipate this like a highly skilled and experienced driver would. It never made contact with me and it never panicked or lost control when I went to the brakes too soon. This made the race absolutely exhilarating because it was a door-to-door, bumper-to-bumper battle from start to finish. I was doing everything that I could to keep Sophie behind me and it was sticking its nose in the door every single time I made a mistake. It was fantastic. It was the type of race you might experience only once in an online lobby and certainly not a battle you would ever have with the game's standard artificial intelligence. That's what makes Sophie so special. It's like having your best human rival online all the time, ready to race whenever you are for however long you want. That is seriously fun, and there has perhaps never been in video games nor the real world a better way to practice your racecraft. Sophie is the ultimate sparring partner, and it's only going to get better from here. The only problem with Sophie is that it's so good it spoils you. 
It reminds you just how dull and lifeless the standard AI can be in the rest of Gran Turismo 7's single player mode, and how aggressive and inconsistent other humans can be when playing online. This Race Together special event is great, but it's just a small teaser. If you're like me, you will desperately want to race with Sophie on more tracks with different cars, but the reality is this is still just a limited technical preview, and there's a lot more work to be done. As explained by Sony AI's Dr. Spranger, quote, there are still some technical challenges to overcome to make it available through the whole game. Another big factor is a lot of work went into the design of this interaction. I think we will all want to see how it goes and hear players' feedback and learn from that experience to design the best way to release it in the whole game." End quote. Dr. Worman added, quote, It's a big step. We want to make sure we get it right and get enough feedback to really understand how this might be enhancing the experiences of players." End quote. The Sony AI team is eager to get feedback on Sophie, and they are actively encouraging players to help them develop the system further. To quote Dr. Werman, I hope that people share what they like, they share their experiences, and that they also share the stuff they don't like. We want to hear both of these things. We hope they actually share videos online so that we can really understand how people feel about it, the way it makes them race better or worse or helps them learn and so on." End quote. Once again, the free Race Together special event will be introduced in Gran Turismo 7 Update 1.29, available starting February 22nd through March 31st, 2023. Presumably due to the processing power required, the special event will only be available to players using the PlayStation 5 version of the game. Of course, Sophie is going to be a very hot topic in the GT Planet forums. Check out the link to our GT7 forums in the description below to join the discussion and share your thoughts. Also, stay tuned, we will continue covering Sophie as it evolves into the future.